Hey, it's Greg. Welcome back to No Delivery. And so, in the meantime of last episode and this episode, I went ahead and did the luxury of grinding a whole lot. So now I have 28 food, 29 brooms, 63 dishes, and 30 trash. And I've left myself with $6 on purpose because I figured out a loophole of some sort. Somebody in the comments of the game on Itch.io brought this up to the developer whether or not it was a glitch or not. So there is this enemy called the Collector, and so he only comes if you can't pay the severance fee of $50 whenever you die, and then he's just like, okay, I'll just kill you myself. And if you do that, it doesn't save, so you can just keep going. <laughs> so it's a cool little loophole, very, very useful. I've abused the crap out of it to get most of these items and to save up enough money. So let's go ahead and start the shift and we're going to the lobby. I also changed my character because I also found another loophole where if you have the $50 to spend, uh, I'll go ahead and show you. So we'll clock out, go back to the main menu here. If you have the $50 to spend to fire an employee and then how it re-rolls and then you get a, a randomly generated person, if you don't like the person you re-rolled for, all you gotta do is just go to menu and then go to end game end and then just reload your save file. And then you can just keep going back to fire and then just keep doing that over and over until you get a character you want. I had to do that alone for about 30 minutes until I got a waitress. Every other re-roll was for a security officer or for the... Uh, the mascot, and so it, it was very unfair. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so now we're going to do some end game stuff, so now I know how to beat the game, and it's actually very simple, uh, so we're gonna start the shift, and I'm gonna go to the lobby because I want to point out a few things. So, uh, again, this game isn't finished, it's still a demo, but you can beat it. So, with this vending machine here, I completely forgot. You can just buy brooms and batteries. <laughs> and the only way to get bullets, as far as I know, is to come across a homeless person in the alleyways. If you go the wrong turn in the bathroom. But anyway, so we're gonna do some in-game stuff here. So the way to get the cheesy bar is to go down here and to play the game. Oh, wait, crap. Uh, return manager's console. Yes. Never mind. Don't want to do that yet. Go to wrong turns, go to arcade, and then you have to do the hardest difficulty on both the alley and the arcade to get to the wrong turn bosses, because there are bosses. So let's go ahead and do the alleyway first, because with that... Uh, there's actually no point though, but I want to show all what this game is all about. So let's go ahead and do it because I have to do the arcade twice to get two cheesy bars because I need one for the little red guy and then I need one for the guy in the car. So let's go do the extermination first on the alleys. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing essentially. Some kind of body bag. Yeah, I don't fight. To get all these items and stuff, I didn't fight a single time. I just kept going to escape. And if I died, it doesn't matter. It has no repercussions. Because then I get that loophole of where I fight the collector, and then it just resets the procedural generation. So let's say I died in this section here. If I die here because of the loophole with the collector, I restart here, and it's randomly generated again for me. So I get another chance of, oh, what if it's just nothing, sort of thing. And also, the deal with these is I don't need to clean all of them. They're just sort of here as a random generated sort of uh, roguelike feature where it's just like, oh, I can go ahead and heal myself here if I want to. So that that's what they're there for. And the reason I have like 30 brooms and stuff is because I wanted the waitress specifically because she has the best skills because she just uses plates and brooms. And so I got 30 brooms and then I also have like 60 some plates. Ooh, more trash. And then her skill book skill gave me takeout and that's why I have a bunch of trash and I didn't sell it. 
because then I can just do the takeout skill. And that's why I have all these items. It's for in-game stuff. But this is this is super easy. Oh, a free heal? I will gladly take it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the, it's super easy once you get the, the loopholes or the glitches or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be able to do these sort of things. And they're just glitches for now, and I'm sure they'll be patched out. But for the sake of me not losing my mind, I'm gonna abuse the crap out of them. <laughs> okay, final area. We got a boss. Alright, let's go. And I should be fully healed? Because I just... I don't, I don't think I did a fight? No. Okay, fully healed. And it's with the trash demon! <laughs> let's go. Let's go, boys. Something rises from the dumpster. Okay, I don't know what these skills do. Cover a chunk of HP. Oh! I heal? With that, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, let's do... Saucer spread. Ooh, nice damage. Nice damage. Do it again. Easy boss. Easy boss. That I finally started to understand the mechanics of the game. Easy game. Easy game. <laughs> Then we could just attack it. No, it missed. Excuse me. And why I'm doing this is because not only I want to show off what it is, but also because I get a key. Back to work. Trash found. After disposing of the monster, the trash problem seems to be taken care of. The authorities have also stopped their investigation, and the guests seem less uneasy about their trash. Although the rumor about the trash monsters has long since faded, some guests have tried to brave the alleys to see if the legends are true. However, none have returned. You're welcome. You got alleyway gate key. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start shift. And we're going to start it in the arcade. And the developers said that with the clowns, that was in the corner of the other area, apparently there are clowns here in the arcade as well, and I found one. He's right next to the vent in the blacked, er, blacked out area up there. You can only see the bottom part of his body, but there's one up there, and that's the only one I was able to find. And so now we're gonna go through the vent and use the gate key and then I think in this video before ending the game I'm going to also try and find the fight the vent boss more trash is good and then this I think is for the officer security guard okay uh, standards cool security guard skill unload Okay, and then it also looks like there's an area over here? No? Okay. I got six ammo, and what else? Two trash. Okay. A lot of people don't know you can actually reach deeper in the boxes. And then this is a shortcut to the front. Okay. So that's fun. So the next thing we have to do is go get two cheesy bars. One for the show guy, the little red guy, and then one for the car. And to beat the game, you have to go to the one uh, with the car, because that's how you get the Showtime ticket, to go to Showtime. So let's end the shift, and let's go to wrong turns, and then we have to go to the arcade extermination. You have to beat these on the hardest difficulties, but like I said, death has no meaning. <laughs> The monster? Start game, sure. Spurned by his creator, the abomination seeks sanctuary among the uh, settlements of mankind. But when man and monster clash, who is the true abomination? I don't trust those boxes anymore because I haven't gotten anything from any of them in a very long time. In these little dungeons. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Welcome to the pizzeria training program. Please refer to the module options. Well, I have four professionalism. Let's do that one. An angry customer comes up to you. I ordered diet blank, not regular blank. But you just ran out of diet blank. What do you do? Get diet blank outside. Give the guest a regular blank. Uh, get a diet one anyway? Wrong. In the time taken to get the drink outside, you would have wasted the customer's time effectively, the company's money. Okay, that's the same message. Okay, that's a cool little one. But yeah, once you start to understand the little gimmicks of the game... Ooh, is this one another one? Yes, okay. Uh, professionalism. The angry customer comes up, they wanted a diet. Give the des guest a regular. You are correct. Great idea to serve the customer regular. And say it's diet. <laughs> Cut corners where it matters. That's so weird. Oh, okay. Oh, all these free rooms. Yes, please. Free health. Free room. All the free rooms. Oh, yes, because we're about to have to fight a boss. And some people were finding this drowned body or something like that. I've never seen that. You decide to play one more game. Yes, I do. Let's go. Can you see me the way I see you? I need to know. All right, saucer spread. Oh. Oh, easy. How is this a boss? I guess it, he just has a lot of health. But how many more saucers do I have? I have so many dishes. <laughs> Ooh, that one hurt. Oh, yes. Very nice. Let's go ahead and use takeout. I heal 12. Why did I heal 12? It says I only recover a chunk of HP by preparing. Okay, so it's a random chunk. Gotcha. Oh, that was the last one I needed. Seizure attack. Damn it. That was the last attack I needed. Takeout. Oh, I'm stunned. He can stun me? He has one HP. Thank you. Back to work. You make sure the machine is truly dead as you hear the synthesized voice get quieter and quieter. The machine attempts to reach out to you, begging you to plug it back in. It begins bargaining, slowly deleting its victim's data to preserve itself. File by file, the machine sheds its humanity. File by file, it becomes less afraid. Interesting. Got Cheesy Bar! Yes, I did! Now we gotta go through all of that again. <laughs> uh, I need more saucers, I think. No, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So let's go do it again. I need two Cheesy Bars. Kill me. <laughs> okay, so we're about to fight. You're about to notice of termination, sure. We're about to fight the collector. He's fun. Another life is claimed, but its halls remain unsatiated. The establishment beckons. However, you have become a liability. Your cost of failure is too great. It is time to collect your debt. Okay. So if I escape the collector, I automatically re-roll my character, which I don't want. But if I just let it kill me, I can just restart from the last place I died. Because <laughs> it doesn't save. But uh, because I'm going to let you see me die, but let's first take a look at him. He's a face. 
Isn't he wonderful? The collector. But, uh... He has like a million HP or something. You can't kill him, as far as I know. And he one-shots you. 9999 nine, nine, nine damage. <laughs> Management is not responsible or liable in any manner for accidents, injuries, fire, stolen or lost items or persons, property damage, or death during the making or viewing of this program. All participants depicted are actual paid employees of Stizoni Pizza, and we're properly compensated for the events that transpired. I love the VHS aesthetic, but if I load it back, I'm right back where I died. So it doesn't matter. Death has no consequence. And then after I talk to the red guy, I'm going to... Or actually, I should probably go to the car first. Got another cheesy bar. Cool. Uh, start the day. We're going to start in the arcade. I'm going to go get the Showtime ticket. And then after I get the Showtime ticket, I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to give the little red guy his cheesy bar first, but first I'm going to save just to make sure it's not like some weird ending thing. Do I have two cheesy bars? Yes. Okay. Hey, waitress. From coworker to coworker, mind doing me a favor? Could you get me a cheesy bar? Those are the only things that hit the spot nowadays. I got something I know you'll like if you got one on you. Is that what I Is that what I think it is? Man, are those hard to find. Thanks for bringing one. Here, you can have this. Got showtime ticket. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like a little privacy. The glass is fogged up from the inside. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and autosave by clicking on the phone. Cool. And then let's go ahead and talk to him. Give him his cheesy bar. There doesn't seem to be a show now. But he's always here. Oh, can I only do one or the other? Oh, that's disappointing. I wish I could just manually save, but you can't. It's always autosave. Where's the little red bastard? Let's go fight the vent monster. The vent clown. Because now I should be able to do it, since I actually have a lot of inventory items and skills and stuff. Uh, turn back. Something approaches from the darkness. You can barely make out the shape as it crawls forward. Uh, saucer spread. I think that's a clown. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, he does no damage. How did I not beat him before? I was scared to fight him. Ooh, seven damage. And he was stunned? It can stun? Two damage. Nice. Let's go ahead and take out. Heal all the way to max. Let's start using the brooms. It missed. <laughs> Use the new skill you have, misses. Ooh, seven damage. Seven damage? Yes, Papa. Not bad. He has one HP. Smack him. Yes. A hundred dollars! I found a hundred bucks from that? Hey, little clown guy. You want a hundred bucks? You're a little weird. Okay, so that was everything in the game. I fought every monster. Uh, let's go see if this vent monster is different. Because I'm sure this one is... 
different. What does he have to say? Oh yeah, the clown is there! It is a clown! I see you. Hi. Okay, go inside. And then turn right around. Hundred dollars. Yeah, it's simple. Super simple. Doesn't open from this side. He's still sleeping. I killed you, buddy. Okay, so I was messing around and just walking around trying to figure out what to do to try and get the drowned child to pop up, and I completely forgot about this stand in the bathroom. I thought this was, like, permanent and just part of the scenery, and I didn't realize you could actually remove it. Use a broom to clean up the mess. Yes. It reveals the outline that I was looking for this entire time. Body tape left over for an investigation a long time ago. Oh, so that's what the handprints are. They straight up just... It's their hair in the sink. And they had a razor of some kind? Did they kill themselves? And then they crawled to this spot. That's where the handprints go. You are haunted by the drowned waiter. Can now be summoned when needed. Oh yeah? Okay. Because I was wondering where they were, because I saw other people's footage of them having like two party members. And I had no idea how they did it. So I guess I just unlocked the ability to do so? Oh, okay, here we go. So I'm in the, the final area. And here is the outline. Body tape left over from an, an investigation a long time ago. The drowned waiter joins the party. Okay, but I can still only see skills from myself. Oh, here we go. Fear level non-existent, liability expired. That's freaking awesome. That's cool. So that would have made things a lot easier, like boss battles and stuff. So does that mean, like, if... If I just leave, do they stay in my party? Like, call it quits. Yes. And then I go start a new shift. Will they stay in my... Party? Oh, it's glitched. Oh, no, I can't even move. It just, it breaks the game. <laughs> and I think it was because I picked up the phone at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the demo here by going to the showtime stage. And just to make sure... I'm fine on health. Use the so showtime ticket. Oh, I can go back out. Oh, they stay open. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at all those hands. Hello. Oh. You're not a child. I've seen many like you over the years. To endure such conditions for mere pay... You have my respect. But for trying to unearth the history within these walls, you have my pity. You would call this place is cursed, but it is those of your ilk that bring ruin to this establishment. Only a fool would dare take advantage of that. These curtains are stained with the blood of those fools. Regardless, fool or not, we are all trapped in the, the maw of this beast. And there is no delivery. Ooh.
Oh, that was good. Oh, you're very welcome. That was so good. This game is good. I love the VHS aesthetic. All that sort of stuff. Thank you for playing the no delivery demo. You're very welcome. So they have a Patreon. If you want to support them on there. It seems like they're actually updating regularly. I know the last update was from yesterday. So... It seems like they're actually putting up a lot of stuff about the game. And honestly, I'm thinking about donating a dollar. Just so I can see like updates and things like that. But uh, yeah, not a bad game. Not a bad game. I, I actually quite enjoyed this. If you'd like to support the development, yeah. And get access to early builds and Photoshop documents. And help keep the, li the lights on. Check out their Patreon or their coffee. Cool. That was no delivery. I hope you all enjoyed the this little series, little three episode series. I'm, I'm glad I was able to figure everything out. It just took me some time, a lot of grinding, and that, that was probably my only complaint about the game is that it's very grindy. There you guys have it. That was no delivery, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Really great game. I'm really enjoying it. It's very, very different from any sort of RPG maker horror I've seen. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Camp Sunshine. And that wasn't a bad game either. And this game is actually made on RPG Maker MV because I went into the game files and I saw the, the logo for MV. And then I was, I was trying to find the, the clowns or what other assets they were using, but it was it said it was made on Java, so I knew it was MV. But yeah, not bad, not a not a bad game at all. I really did enjoy this. I I put I, I thought about playing this game too much. So <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. And also please tell your friends. It would really help support me. And as always, I will see you guys later. Yeah.